Hello guys, what's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I plan to do back to back two videos today. I'm gonna be doing five fragrances in those two episodes. You guys must be like wondering how can there be five fragrances in two videos? Yes, it's possible. Obviously, mathematically, it's not that impossible. Uh, first episode, I'm gonna do this one, the YSL one. Second episode, I'm gonna be doing Alexandria fragrances, all right? So let's see how much you can cover. I actually slept off the whole day. No work, nothing. A little bit of, uh, not insomnia, sleeping disorder hopefully to be okay soon uh, so I had actually had a good day you know like it was a great start of the day I scored a limited edition bottle that is discontinued now you can see it's very signature sort of Thierry Mugle he has this Iceman I'm gonna be talking about this soon I was wearing this before I went to sleep very very beautiful freshy kind of a take on Amen line so that one was one uh, second reason being I think uh, what was the second reason? I can't remember the second reason, just I was happy. <laughs> so uh, let's start the fragrance review. Oh yeah, I wanted to update something. You know, I think some of you got confused. I think one brother or two brothers actually asked in the comment section as well as inbox that uh, after seeing my review on Eros versus Eros Flame, I just want to update it before I start the review. Between this, I did comparison, but I said this uh, like a tie. So they were confused, many of you are confused. Which one did I pick as a winner? I said in terms of smell, I prefer Eros Flame. It's much more modernized, sweeter, and much more playful than Eros. But if you look at the uh, budget, you know, Eros still is cheaper. It has better performance on dry down. It goes a little bit more, two hours more push. Even in the current formulation, I think they're pretty much like close, but Eros lasts a little bit longer on most people. So if you ask about which one uh, I prefer, I would say if you actually have Eros, you do not need this at this current moment, unless you are a collector and you collect different bottles. And if you actually just a an user, end user, and you just do not want too many fragrances, once perhaps you finish Eros, you can, I say upgrade to Eros Flame. That is the update. That's why I was happy. Weird reason, huh? <laughs> now, the thing is, you know, when I do the reviews, I don't want to confuse people. My whole reason is trying to tell you what is what, but yeah, both are great okay so let's start the review we're going to be looking at YSL house language Delon art edition this is a 2013 release and uh, plenty of things to say about this rather than review uh, because uh, <clears throat> YSL language Delon I have reviewed to death if you check I'll leave the link below of all the language Delon batches I reviewed except one batch 2009 and 10 the holy grail batch I think that's the first time they were released and they have that dark juice and a lot of meat saying that was the longest lasting I never tried so I cannot tell you I did try 2012 uh, sorry 2014 I did try 2015 basically like you know there's not 2015 there's 2013 and 14 then there is the 16 17 18 these batches I did try so the 2013 limited edition I mean the art edition uh, this is basically they released three the loam uh, loam libra and then along these three they released uh, art edition they are discontinued obviously very hard to find and very expensive 150 to 250 dollars for 100 ml and only bottle sizes are 100 ml okay uh, the thing is if you do not know by now by any chance Lanu de is the flanker of loam this is the first release and upon initial spray i actually fell in love with loam first you know before Lanu de because Lanu de has all the hype this one has less hype but this is a very beautiful fragrance cozy easy going so Lanu de is created by the same perfumers who created loam a little bit darker version of Lom, okay, Lanu de Lom is. And it's supposed to be nighttime wearing. It's one of the sexiest fragrances till date. And I also covered the special edition. I think there was a special edition on limited time edition, black bottle with the galaxy theme, okay? So that one was good for a performer as well. So Lanu de Lom, different batches, there are different things. You know, there's sometimes talk about, let me cover this also, juice, color, darkness, you know? I'll tell you what, sometimes on the bottles, they have, painted you know the juice color doesn't really matter in these kind of situations sometimes they do psychologically sometimes practically but it all depends on um, the fragrance itself juice color has nothing to do with the fragrance performance it's just a myth okay so i do have still my 2014 batch a little bit juice left i have another bottle which has ammo this, this same level i have 50 ml of language de 2014 this was the last decent batch of language de if you talk about performance after that they did release 2016 i think that one was good too okay but overall my observation on Lanu Delom is four hours three to four hours that's it you know and projection is really great for one and a half hour that's when the magic happens you know like people notice you 
So let's try it after a lot of talk. Once again, the box. It looks like a tester box, basically. I'll tell you a story of this perfume. So it's actually not. This is the full retail bottle. I mean box. If you see this somewhere, grab it instantly if you get it under $100. Say it says Edition Art EDT, and then still have the cap hexagonal shape and YSL. These the lines are supposed to mean the Edition Art up there YSL, ever so classy. This side, I don't want to read the whole name, but it's the artist who actually did the design. The back, some more information, bottom, I think you'll find, yes, you'll find here. You'll find somewhere there, you're going to pick it up, but here is the batch code, okay? So very nice, white box. The bottle here is really pretty, I mean, really, really nice color. And let me show you side by side. This is my 200 ml, uh, 2018. So I don't know if you can pick up, perhaps the juice color is a little bit different, I think. I don't know what you think, guys. I think the 2000 the newer batches are a little bit lighter greenish yellowish juice color compared to 2013 this is a little bit more darker so this uh, bottle has the same cap as the other lenny delon ysl and the sticker i just want to tell you just especially on this batch what i get okay the names are here pretty nice you can see through and these lines okay there's those are like your art edition okay so same very nice heavy plastic cap here is the atomizer and uh, I'm wearing this as my scent of the night on my neck. For the review's sake, let's go one on my hand and talk about it. Very, very excellent spray. Okay, so the story behind this, I was telling my brother Chris Phuket that this perfume changed hands. This was actually owned by Shafi Bhai, my good brother in fragrance community, a fragrance reviewer as well. And recently he let go of his bottle because he has backup bottles like 200 ml and you know, he was just clearing out his shelf. And he let go this, let go of this one, the gem, after using it, I think about what five ml or something, almost full. And it was a nice thing that one of my other brother who bought this perfume off, he, you know, just for his collection. So both brothers are my friends, and it's in my hand. So I'm reviewing this. Hopefully, Shafi Bhai and uh, my other brother is also watching. So now, a lot of talk. I want to finish it within ten minutes. Okay, this perfume 2013 is much stronger. The cardamom and the spices pops up okay uh, there's a difference initially let's just go side by side okay the newer batches and this one the difference between the opening opening is where the difference major differences are it, this one is so much more prominent with that cardamom the newer ones so much more with the bergamot it's a little bit more fresh it's little, still a little spicy sweet but a little bit transparent okay so basically if you just put like 200 ml in one bottle that's what you're gonna get with the uh, art edition or even the limited edition of 2014 my other batch these ones almost very very close i think 2013 is a tad bit stronger than my 2014 even though they are the same formulation i heard but i think the edition art they amped up the performance a little bit so i think 2009 and 10 those first batches are the last batches i'll be reviewing those batches are much stronger than this even so you can imagine Oh my god, amazing, amazing juice. I don't want to waste it. I want him to enjoy it all the way, all the way for, for special occasion. I think, yeah, it's, oh, his name is here. I didn't notice it. I, my camera is not a pickup. The artist's name is here as well. So the thing is, this is a winter baby. It has, smells like a bit spicy. If you like Jerome Intense, likes of that. If you like uh, Lige, if you like Gourmand Givenchy Play Intense, if you like Givenchy Very Irresistible, same vein, but this one got the most love because it's YSL. So this is really compliment garner. There's no doubt about it. Jeremy hyped it up to the max. <clears throat> and it's very much favorite of crowd favorite. You know, there's like everybody loves this perfume. It's in my rotation every now and then. Uh, this perfume gets compliments. Ladies, just look at you when you wear this. A little bit cool breeze, winter time. This will really shine. Um, you cannot get, I think even this one, you cannot get like eight hours. I got max five hours mark with this. After five hours, it's kind of close to my skin but that's just me uh, one other thing is Lanui Delon I think there's a thing what is it called okay yeah Lanui Delon doesn't have any great alternatives I don't know I haven't tried the Alexandria version clone but this one doesn't have any quite substitute Zara why did try but none of the fragrances smell just like this the bergamot and the cardamom especially and the woody and a little bit of vetiver those magic are only in this one so if you want Lanui Delon, my suggestion is still buy Lanui Delon, you know. They have EDP, Lepa Farm, they have All Electric, thousand other flankers, but they all smell different from each other. So I really wish uh, YSL did release uh, Lanui Delon 
um, perhaps perhaps a version which they will amp up which they will amp up amp up they will <laughs> you know what i mean like they will increase the strength of the perfume oil concentration on this baby and then release a very beast mode one even if you charge 50 ml like 200 bucks i would still buy it because the dna is just so unique so overall this perfume is always a 10 for me you guys know especially this art edition i think my brother is very lucky to find this one few days back even like last two years back fragrance bd bangladesh they were selling this for 150 dollars or a little bit more i wanted to buy it but uh, someone took it off i mean took it away from the website so this one is perfection of 10 of course better with that cardamom and it's really really prominent it's a little bit more sweet a little bit more spicy that's the difference okay so first one hour you get better longevity and you just enjoy that opening top note a lot more okay but if you ask me should you be hunting down this one if you have don't have the cash problem if you do not have any problem with uh, having so many multiple batches of lanudellum you're a fanboy of this you definitely should try it. but if you are just a user i'll just tell you get a 200 ml it's gonna be less expensive than this and you just have to spray double that's it if you spray three with this you have to spray six that's about the same you know like application wise so yeah language alone you must try this perfume no matter what variation this which batch this there is it's always a magical perfume with beautiful beautiful bottle so that's my review with language alone art edition check it out and now move on to the second episode see ya bye bye